I am delighted to welcome the chairman, secretaries, and other leaders of political parties to this meeting. With just 44 days to the 2019 general election, electioneering campaigns are in full swing following your nomination of candidates for the 1,491 constituencies for which elections will be conducted this year. You are no doubt aware that the presidential election, as well as elections for 109 senatorial districts and 360 federal constituencies, will be held on Saturday, 25th February 2022. Two weeks later, governorship elections in 28 states of the Federation and all 993 state assembly constituencies will be held on Saturday, 11th March 2023. I want to seize this opportunity to thank the chairman and leaders of political parties for your sustained engagement with the commission in particular and Nigerians in general on critical electoral issues. I want to reassure you that working together we will sustain the tradition of regular consultative meetings with political parties and other critical stakeholders. You may recall that on 26 February 2022, the Commission released the timetable and schedule of activities for the 2023 general election. Since then, the Commission has been relentlessly implementing the 14 step-by-step -step activities listed in the timetable. Some of the major activities include the conduct of primaries by political parties, nomination of candidates, the publication of the list of candidates, and commencement of campaign by political parties. With the presentation of the register of parties, to a register of voters to political parties, which will be done at this meeting. The Commission has now successfully implemented 11 out of 14 activities on schedule. Furthermore, the implementation of other activities has proceeded in earnest. Already, substantial quantities of sensitive and non-sensitive materials have been deployed to various locations across the country. The last batch of the bimodal voter accreditation system, the BIVAS, has been received while the ongoing configuration of the critical technology in readiness for the election will soon be completed. In the last two days, we commenced the airlifting of other sensitive materials across the states of the country. Already, some of the materials for 17 states in three geopolitical zones have been delivered. Furthermore, 13,868,441 permanent voters cards, the PVCs, have been printed, delivered to states, and have been collected by citizens as new voters or by existing voters who applied for transfer or replacement of cards as provided by law. Similarly, following the display of the voters register nationwide, and the conclusion of claims and objections by citizens, a new national register of voters has been compiled. In short, at no time in the recent history of the Commission has so much of the forward planning and implementation been accomplished 44 days ahead of the general election. Therefore, the Commission is not contemplating any adjustment to the election timetable, let alone postponement of the general election. <laughs> For the avoidance of doubt, the presidential election and the national assembly elections will hold on Saturday, 25th February 2023, while governorship and state assembly elections will hold two weeks later on Saturday, 11th March 2023. The repeated assurance by the security agencies for the adequate protection of personnel, materials, and processes also reinforces our determination to proceed. 
the 2023 general election will hold as scheduled. Any report to the contrary is not the official position of the commission. As a further affirmation of the commission's readiness to conduct the 2023 general election as scheduled, the final register of voters, as I said earlier, has been compiled. You will recall that for the 2019 general election, Nigeria had a voter population of 84,004,084. After the cleaning up of the data from the last continuous voter registration exercise held between June 2021 and July 2022, 9,518,000 188 new voters were added to the previous register, resulting in the preliminary register of 93,522,272, which was presented to Nigerians for claims and objections as required by law. At the end of the period for claims and objections by citizens, the Commission received 53,000 264 objections from Nigerians to the prevalence of ineligible persons on the register by virtue of age, citizenship, or death. These names have been verified and they have been removed from the register of voters. Consequently, the register of voters for the 2023 general election stands at 93,469,000 and eight voters. Of this cumulative figure, 49,054,162, or 52.5%, are male, while 44,414,846 representing 47.5% are female. The distribution by age group shows that 37,060,339 or 39.65% are youth between the ages of 18 and 34. 33,413,591 representing 35.75% are middle-aged persons between the ages of 35 and 49. 17,700,270 representing 18.94% are elderly voters between the ages of 50 and 69, while 5,294,748 representing 5.66% are senior citizens aged 70 and above. In terms of occupational distribution, Students constitute the largest category with 26,027,481 voters, representing 27.8% of the total, followed by 14,742,554, or 15.8%, farmers and fishermen, and 13,6939 representing 13.9% are housewives. The data on disability was not collected for previous registration. However, the cumulative figure of 85,362 persons from the recent CVR indicates that there are 21,150, representing 24.5% persons with albinism. 13,000 387 representing 15.7% with physical impediment and 8,103 representing 9.5% are blind. The soft copy of the register will be presented to each political party shortly. It is organized by state, local government, ward and polling unit. It is also the same register that will be used on election day. Hard copies of the breakdown of the register by states of the federation and analysis by gender, age group, occupation and disability are enclosed in your folders for this meeting. 
I also want to say that hard copies will be given to all members of the INEC Press Corps at the end of this meeting. All members of the INEC Press Corps will get a copy of the summary of the distribution of voters for the 2023 general elections nationwide. In addition, the soft copy of the breakdown and the analysis will be uploaded to our website and social media platforms shortly. I would like to reiterate our commitment to transparent and credible elections in 2023. We'll continue to take every step to protect the sanctity of the votes cast by citizens and deal with infractions, including the arrest and prosecution of persons that attempt to perpetuate illegality at the polling units on election day, be they underage voters or vote buyers. Once again, the Commission appreciates the patience of Nigerians who have been queuing up at the designated centers to collect their PVCs. To make it easier, we devolve the collection to the 8,809 registration areas or wards nationwide. We have also uploaded the comprehensive list of the ward collection centers nationwide to our website. The locations can also be identified by sending a short text message to any one of the two dedicated telephone lines. The details are also available from the Commission's website. On this note, the Commission would like to appreciate the political parties, the leadership of the Interparty Advisory Council, civil society organizations, development partners, the media, traditional, religious, and community leaders, and all other Nigerians for their partnership and support in encouraging citizens to register and to collect their PBCs. The best way to reciprocate this support and the dogged determination of Nigerians to vote is to ensure a transparent election next month. This remains our commitment to the people of Nigeria. On this note, I thank you all and God bless you.